all reblooming, which is just a small percentage of the daylilies in existence. Most of them do not rebloom, so you're getting a very special set. Devin, thank you so much. So I believe your Uncle Court's going to pop in for this next item. Uh, which is the super popular milkweed butterfly bouquet. So for the first time this year, Roberta's has brought a multicolor set for you. You're going to get milkweed that's going to turn out orange, pink, white, and yellow. Milkweed is the imperative plant for monarchs. Monarchs were near extinction in recent years, and it's because the milkweed that grows wild was pretty much devastated by mankind doing farming and construction and destroying all of the milkweed uh, by killing it with weed killer. And therefore the monarchs had nowhere to lay their eggs and they just became fewer and fewer. We realized what was happening. Roberta's um, has really been on top of this and has been bringing us these beautiful milkweed or as they're known as sclepias plants. And the monarchs are coming back. You will see monarchs in your garden. And these also attract lots of other types of butterflies as well. But we need the milkweed for the monarchs, right, Court? Right, Carolyn, we do need the monarch uh, population to increase. Like you said, there was a little bump up last year, but the U.S. Fish and Wildlife uh, Commission has still uh, have plans to reevaluate in 2024 whether or not they're going to put this on the endangered wow. plant list. So. Wow. We can't rest on our Asclepius. We got to keep planting more. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful. They're magical. And like you said, they're essential for the life of the monarch butterfly. If you could show perhaps that little uh, VTR that we have, Sandra and her husband Adam made this VTR that it shows the growth of the uh, monarch butterfly from caterpillar. So there you see the little caterpillar, it's eating the monarch leaves. They collected the caterpillars, they put it in a little cage. There's the chrysalis. In eight days, the monarch butterfly emerges from the chrysalis. Wow. And then you'll see Carolyn releasing that butterfly out into the wild. And you can get hundreds of caterpillars on one monarch butterfly plant. Look at that. This collection includes four, four different colors, each unique. First time we've brought four to QVC. And uh, Court, you're shipping a large plant, so it's ready to go. You're yes. definitely going to get blooms this year. This is a perennial, so yes. it comes back bigger every year with more and more blooms, but you're going to get one of each of these colors, white, yellow, orange, and pink, which is the first time you've done a multicolor set. These are perfect for a pollinator garden, obviously, but Court, they obviously. look beautiful <clears throat> everywhere in your garden. Carolyn, you're absolutely correct. Look, one collection would be great if everyone could plant one collection, they'd be doing their part. Mm -hmm. But if you have a larger yard, look, plant several sets of these, create not only a pollinator garden, but a garden specifically for the monarch butterfly. And you're gonna get all different kinds of butterflies, let me tell you, because they're fragrant. Yeah. They're nectar rich. So it will draw all different butterflies. I like doing the build to ship to, and I'll pick up a little butterfly guide like this oh, so people cool. can enjoy watching them mm -hmm. and seeing all the different kinds of butterflies. But this is essential for the life cycle of the monarch butterfly. And if you're, and you're do getting all four pieces. And you, and you get all four. And again, th they, lay, they only lay their eggs on here. There's something about, Mother Nature is so genius. And there's something in the Asclepius plant, the milkweed plant, that protects the monarch butterfly from birds. Yes, Carolyn. And so that yes. so and monarchs instinctively know this, and they only lay their eggs on these plants. And the so. reason why is because when the when they lay their eggs in, then the caterpillars um, emerge, and the caterpillar can only eat the leaves from mm -hmm. this plant. Right. That's all they eat. So as these plants disappear, and the monarch butterfly population has decreased by 80%. Last mm -hmm. year we saw a bump up, but we can't rest. We keep doing your part. Yeah. And these are not the typical uh, wild-looking yes. variety. Yes. These they're have prettier. been hybridized. Mm -hmm. So they're not only yeah. beautiful and magical for your garden and good to look at. Look, I have two. Uh, I have a set planted in my front yard where I have my little pollinator garden 
my butterfly bushes and other uh, butterfly loving plants. But then in the back, I have a big, big garden and I couldn't tell you how many uh, plants I've put over the years and I just love to add more. It, it started out looking like that and then it keeps growing mm -hmm. and multiplying and there's your caterpillar from the monarch and there you see the swallowtail because you're going to mm -hmm. get all the different kind of butterflies and right. that's called hello yellow that's the uh ballet white look at that that is so Gorgeous. hard to find yeah and beautiful in nature we all know that white gives everything a pop look at all the fragrance you're going to get from that oh my and gosh the and they're beautiful look at these clusters of beautiful little like lace like blooms and they're so and fragrant yes. Uh, and that's what I have now. The a pink big one. garden like that, mm -hmm. right out um, in front of my trees in the back. Mm -hmm. And there's the pink and the monarch. So look, the monarch will find these plants. Maybe, you know, when we were kids, we used to go out with butterfly nets yeah. and collect monarchs. And they were it was everywhere. like a lightning bug festival, but with monarchs. You know, the, the kids nowadays don't know what you're talking about. They've what do you mean catch a butterfly? Yeah. They hardly ever see them. Yeah, many children have never seen a monarch butterfly, unfortunately. But um, let's help them to make a comeback. Uh, we've taken some baby steps, and the more Asclepius, the more milkweed yes. you plant, the better it is for the monarch butterfly. And it's a benefit to you as well because you'll have such a beautiful, fragrant garden with these. So it, and if you're creating a pollinator garden or a butterfly garden, you want to put your, your butterfly bushes in there. You want to definitely put your Asclepius, some lantana, some salvia. I put phlox in my garden, some Great. lavender. They love um, phlox. And, yeah. and and butterflies um, love blue, so mix some blue things like lavender in there. Virtus has some great um, American bred lavender on QVC.com that you can check out. But definitely order this set if you can get more than one set. Um, Court, last question real quick before we wrap up. If people are not planting in their yard anymore or they don't have a yard, can we put these in pots? Yes, you can. And okay. you can put them in four separate pots or you can put them all together in a larger pot. And like I said, okay. even one potful, one collection will make a difference. But if you can swing it, order several sets and you'll really be doing your part. And get your bounty because they'll do so great on Absolutely. that uh, plant food. Court, thank Highly you so much. Love you. Have Love a you wonderful too, Sunday, thank my you. friend. I'll see you soon. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for Roberta's in our show, but we have more coming up from Cottage Farms and Barbara King in this hour called Ready, Set, Grow. It's all live plants. Now, uh, QVC and HSN has a great streaming service, whether you're on Roku or with your Fire Stick. Uh, this is free, and we have new programming on there all the time. In fact, the app uh, just had an update yesterday. I just did an update on my Fire Stick for the QVC uh, streaming app. So uh, you can watch original content, live shows, all of your favorite hosts are there. But um, if you missed a show, it'll be there. But also some programming that we create just for the streaming service that you'll never see on live TV. So check it out.